Hey everybody, this is Josh Sub, aka Ask Joshy on YouTube, and today I'm bringing you a 1v1 commentary between LZ Gamer, the Blue Terran, and Sid, the Red Protoss. This was taken from a Platinum level 1v1 match on the ladder, and um, I actually watched this game originally on LZ Gamer's live stream, which can be found at livestream.com slash LZ Gamer. LZ Gamer actually used to play under the handle Team EG and was number one in his Platinum 1v1 division as Team EG, but has since gotten his own beta key and has now made the account LZ Gamer and he is laddering again. So let's see how he does in this Platinum match against Sid. Sid is going to actually focus on his economy first and foremost and is just going to pump out probes and a pylon. Um, he is going to be using Chrono Boost whenever he can to get out these uh, probes, but Looks like LZ Gamer's got different plans than just building up his economy. Instead of using this first SUV to scout out Sid's base, he instead starts building a barracks immediately outside of Sid's uh, natural expansion. And this is going to allow him to get Marines into Sid's base much faster than if he had built them, built the barracks at his own choke point and had to walk them all the way around this map, which is Scrap Station and is a 1v1 map by design, so LZ Gamer did not have to scout to find his opponent. He knows that he's right inside of this uh, sort of ramp choke point, so uh, LZ Gamer does throw up a gas, a quick gas, actually, and a first supply depot to support this barracks. And Sid now well, it's right past the proxy barracks, cannot see it because it is actually up on an elevated surface. Sid is not going to know that anything's um, a little weird until he actually reaches LZ Gamer's base. So, uh, the first gateway has gone up for Sid. He's putting another pylon up in front of his base just so he can see things a little faster as they come in. He is also getting a first gas relatively quickly, so we can expect to see a cyber core, uh, I think, as part of his normal build. And LZ Gamer throwing up an orbital command back at his base. Sid is now walking around um, freely and sees a gas up, but he sees no barracks. He saw only one supply depot. He's now thinking either, okay, Sid, LZ Gamer is going to be building an expansion early, perhaps, or a proxy barracks. So he's going to check first the natural expansion of LZ Gamer, and then when he sees nothing, he is going to get a little suspicious. He actually is suspicious already because he, instead of throwing up the cyber core like I imagined he would, he has instead moved all his probes back to minerals and has thrown up two additional gateways. He is pumping out zealots as fast as he can because he knows something is awry. He sends his probe to scout out around his base and finds a couple of marines just hanging out and now spots the actual barracks with a reactor attached. And the reactor attached to a barracks actually allows only the production of marines, but it allows two marines to be built at a time. As you can see, two just popped out right there. And uh, it, you cannot build a marauder, reaper, or ghost with a reactor attached, only marines. But you can mass them, actually, by building two at a time. And he is going to start to push in a little bit, but he finds a zealot and decides maybe it's not a good idea just yet. He is also building a factory very near his proxy barracks. Um, so you know that LZ Gamer has plans beyond just an all-in sort of marine push. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what he ends up using the factory for. A second supply depot now going up just to support this um, production of marines. He makes another little push with five. Uh, LZ Gamer has only seen one gateway so far, but he knows that Sid knows the jig is up, and he's going to... LZ Gamer is going to assume that he has at least two gateways up by now, if not three. So Cybernetics Core now finally going up for Sid. He does have his full probe production, and um, he is going to chrono boost some zealots just to get them out. Four zealots will take out five marines relatively easy. Uh, four zealots might even be able to take out eight marines relatively easy, depending on the micro of each player. And LZ Gamer is one of the best turn players that I've watched, at least. So I know that um, he knows how to micro his marines to keep keep them alive as long as possible. And LZ Gamer is throwing up a tech lab on his factory, which means he will be able to now build siege tanks or hellions. Um, if he had built a reactor instead, he would only be able to build two hellions at a time, much like you can build two marines at a time with this. And it looks like uh, these marines are actually going to play Ring Around the Rosie with the Zealots. They do have about the same run speed, so if he can keep this up long enough, and it looks like he has great timing there as these two Zealots are not able to get around him, he's just going to keep that going as long as possible. Probably not. No, he is building more marines, so maybe just trying to hold off those zealots, but um, he just wants to buy time because now he's built an armory very close to his proxy factory and proxy barracks, and this will allow the building of Thors, the sort of tier 3 unit for Terran um, players, and it has a huge cost, 300 minerals, 200 gas, 6 food, and 75 second build time, and it looks like the jig is up on, uh, I'm sorry if I said that earlier, I don't remember, but uh, 
these units finally being able to flank these marines running in circles. Um, he does have the three gateways, as I mentioned earlier, and his chrono boosting. Looks like warp gate research, yep. And these units of Sid do finally come in, destroy the reactor. The barracks lifts off quickly and is trying to fly away. I'm not sure um, which direction he's going, but it looks like he might be trying to just buy a little more time uh, by floating it out towards Sid's base. He's going to get a little additional scouting information if it does actually reach it, but it looks like at this rate, he'll be lucky if that happens. So, uh, LZ Gamer, knowing that his barracks is all gone, um, is a lost cause. He's brought over, it looks like, about 10 SCVs to come over, 11 SCVs now, to repair these uh, this factory and this tech lab while this Thor is almost done building this first Thor. And as I said earlier, Thor is a very powerful unit and is just going to kill these Tier 1 units of Sid in about two shots each. Um, actually, one shot, that's sentry. Each little fist pump there is a, is a shot. So, look at this. His health is extremely low, down to 50, 40, I see there. But all these SCVs just pouring minerals into him to keep him alive. And he is just pounding away. It looks like he's killing a Zealot in two shots, a Stalker in two shots, and a Sentry in just one shot. So um, he's just blasting away as these SCVs surround the Zealot. They, they have no chance of escaping. And it looks like this Thor is now on the move. He's already got 11 kills. 11 kills of tier 1 units and he's still got LZ Gamer still has 11 SCVs able to walk around with this Thor. I am going to pause just so we can uh, have the recording space.